Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you for, uh, for the opportunity to talk to you. It's a very honor. Yeah, it's a pleasure. And thank, thank you, you. Uh, for the story. Uh, thank you. Um, we got a lot to cover. I want to talk a little about the story. Is it based on, I mean, it seemed that we are talking a little bit about a, 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 a social subject. Is it based on something specifically, you know, somebody specifically, or, or, or what was the story? What did motivated you to write the story? Yeah, I think the story is more of other movies, you know, old kind of memories I have of these kind of films, you know, espionage, um, counter espionage, American GIs, you know, those kind of uh, underworld women like that, you know, agents and it has a little bit of everything. You know, madam, you know, madams in you know exotic places, that that kind of thing. And obviously the pandemic and um, you know, this um, hysteria with the idea of immigration, terrorism, you know. It has a little bit of everything, I think. I think it gives you a little bit of a glimpse of the on the you know the 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 Pros and the, the constant wars between war and politics. That's, that's something that I saw in the story pretty well. I, I want to talk about the, the direction. Uh, you, we, we constantly see this first person perspective on the on Asian uh, character. Was that something that you thought of when you come in, when you came into set uh, for shooting, or <laughs> was that something that you already had figured out? Meanwhile, meaning what first person that, perspective? Yeah, first person perspective of Ethan's character. When we see a lot of uh, JJ's character, we you, you change with that first person perspective when we are basically on his skin, on his shoes. Was that something that you, you just sought out? Well, you know, he's a cameraman. He's playing a cameraman. So a lot, you know, some of the film you're actually seeing through his camera, never mind his eyes, you know? So I that, think that lends itself to that, you know, singular thing. Plus, he's almost in every frame of the movie. So, <coughs> you know, so that's but, also a. It, I just it's, it's, it's a story that that it lends itself to be on both perspective, on the first perspective, just to see what the surrounding is, and then you can see what uh, you know what he, what JJ uh, he's seeing and his feelings. So I I felt that. Right. Uh, you hit you hit that nail on the head when you brought up brought up you're bringing us into the story with that perspective. So I just, I, I like that a lot about the movie. Thank you. I want to talk about the pandemic. You just mentioned it yourself. I think the pandemic brought a new layer, a different layer to the story. It it it, it really you you feel it on the on the story. What would you have changed, if anything, of this of the movie if the pandemic wouldn't have not happened? I might not have made it. I mean, you know, I mean, I, you know, I wish the pandemic never happened. That would be, you know, I'd give up the movie, you know, for that not happening. But it w was happening and we're living it and we're still living it. And even though we don't call it, you know, we're not calling it the pan, you know, COVID-19, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's the metaphor and it's the um, it's the world that we're living. Let's talk about Ethan uh, Hockey a little bit. He he has the you know the difficult task of portraying two different two completely different characters. Um, right. What what was his reaction when you brought him the script and he still understood that you know the task he had? What what was his? Well, I mean I. I think his initial reaction was he knows a lot of good actors and it, it, there's a lot of guys who would like to play that role. And I don't think he was expecting me to ask him to, you know, do them both, even though he's seen the last movie I made with Willem where Willem played basically three roles, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, I mean, Willem played himself and his father. So I guess him playing his, but his brother's a military man. So, you know, his brother's a Green Beret. So it's like, he definitely, you know, understands the position. Finally, uh, but what would you expect people to, when they see, go see the movie, when, to take away from it? What, what do you want them to take away from this specific story? 
I mean, I just want to be open seeing it. I mean, I can't, you know, I mean, every person is different and every situation you're going to see it is different. So I'm not, you know, <clears throat> you know, Kubrick says, you know, film is in the, the inverted pyramid built on one idea. So it's not like, you know, you know, there's a lot there, you know, I mean, it's a movie. It's, it's a, you know, 90 minutes and, and you know, that someone's spending in the dark or even in front of the computer or however they're going to watch it, you know, it's, I just, it's more about how they, you know, I hope people, when they watch this movie or any movie, just, just let themselves go, let themselves experience the movie, not, not judge it, not be judgmental, not be, not be cynical. That's one thing I would hope. Um, and um, and not have the expectation, any expectation, because the film, you know, the possibility of a movie could is endless, is infinite. So if you approach it with that mindset, you get a lot more out of any movie. Um. I, you know, I, I've, I've said I've said it a lot on, on my show. I think we missed uh, 90 Minutes movie, and you made it work with this one. So I'm going to congratulate you on that. I think we, we, miss, we, we meet more 90 Minute movies that work, and you made it work with this one. So I want to thank you for that, and congratulations. I thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Okay, be good.